Good afternoon. We are from Team Two. I am Nag Srinivas, and my project members are Krishan Teja and Nikhil. Our project title is uh, Movement Control and Abstract Evidence of Exabot. The main theme of the project is that the uh, Exabot will detect obstacles in its way and moves accordingly to avoid the obstacles. Coming to basic details, first of all, the Exabot is said to move in the forward direction and checks for obstacles in its forward direction. If it finds any obstacles in the forward direction, then it checks for obstacles in the right hand side using right shop sensor. If it didn't find any obstacles in the right direction, then it turns around towards right direction and moves forward. If it, it finds any obstacle in the right direction also, then it checks for obstacles in the left side. If there is no obstacle in the left side, then it turns around towards left side and moves forward. If there is obstacle in uh, all directions, then it turns around in the backward direction and moves forward. In this way, it, uh, this exabot avoids obstacles. For to test this project, we design, we design this arena. Why this arena is? Because in this arena, we can see every possible direction. That is, uh, we can see the motion of the exabot in a left side. I um, mean, in forward direction, moving, turning towards left side, turning towards right side, turning towards back side. Also, we can see in this arena. Why this small arena is because of power consumption limit. If there is no power consumption limit, then we can design a real-time application like a rat in a maze. In a like big, uh, big problems, also we can solve. Next, uh, now we will show this demo. After this demo, we will tell about uh, our experience uh, with uh, astral interfacing and uh, risks, challenges, etc. Coming to demo, here you can see uh, first of all, it's moving in forward direction. Now it finds obstacle. So it checks for right. Uh, using right uh, sensor, it checks for uh, any obstacle in the right direction. There is no obstacle. So it's turning towards right direction. Now again, it moves forward direction because it's a default direction, default motion. As there is no obstacle in the forward direction, it moves continuously towards the forward direction. Now it finds obstacle in the forward direction and also in the right direction also. So it checks for obstacle in the left direction. Since there is no obstacle, it turns towards left side. Yeah. Again it is moving in the forward direction. Yeah. Here the scenario is it finds obstacle in forward direction, right hand side, and left hand left hand side also. So it turns around. That is, it is moving. One eighty degrees. Yeah. Now when it moves in forward
yeah it finds abstractly in forward direction so it turning right hand side Yeah, the board give buzzes because of less charging. This is because of less charging. So, can I remove? Hello, everyone. Now we will be talking about uh, astral interfacing, which we have written, and uh, fu uh, future scope and challenges. Uh, the code which we have written is an external code for this. Uh, so we have developed an external interface for the hexa port. Uh, initially, we'll be writing a external code and using a external compiler and external interface which we have written, a usable uh, code on the hexa port will be generated. This will be compiled, a dot hex file will be generated, and then uh, burnt on the hexa port for the corresponding program to be run. So. Uh, there are uh, here in the astral interfacing we have provided two levels of abstraction uh, one for the motion of the entire bot and second for the motion of the each and every motor so uh, motion of the entire bot helps in applications where uh, you need to concentrate on other aspects of the project like uh, for example in application uh, like uh, capturing images on a remote area and sending it back to the user uh, you need not concentrate much on the motion of the bot, so you can just directly use the motion uh, motion of the bot level abstraction. And for the abstra uh, abstractions like uh, you climbing onto the top of a stage or uh, climbing a uh, stair, etc., or dancing, you need to concentrate on uh, motor level abstraction. So you can you uh, you, uh, you could you need to concentrate on motors. So motor level abstraction helps there. So uh, the challenges which we have faced is the major challenge is power consumption as you have already seen there. It just moves towards the arena. By the end of the arena, you get a beep sound. Even yeah, even with full charging, we get the same problem. And uh, we found, we found uh, there uneven surfaces and uneven legs of the board. Uh, Exapod is also a big challenge for us. Uh, moreover, uh, the obstacles which are uh, which are very sharp and present in between two sensors cannot be detected with this uh, project. So, uh, and the size of the obstacle minimum uh, since uh, proximity sensors are mounted on top of the hexapod, uh, minimum sharp sensors are uh, mounted on top of the hexapod. Minimum height of the the obstacle should be the that of the object. Uh, so uh, that of the hexapod. So we need to maintain the size of the obstacle in in uh, in par with the size of the hexapod. So uh, future scope for this is since we have written a astral interface, uh, we have provided almost all the major functionalities of the astral interface in the form of buzzer, uh, buzzer signals, um, uh, motion signals for the motors, uh, LCD display, and uh, sharp sensors, proximity sensor values, etc. So all these can be used for developing much more uh, various variety of applications on the near scope in the near future uh, using the astral interface. Uh, so this, uh, so astral code uh, projects based on astral coding can be easily developed using the astral interface. And moreover, the obstacle avoidance and uh, motion control of the hexapod can be used. Uh, uh, it can be used directly in the various applications. Okay, thank you.